Jesse Fernandez. Hey guys. Uh, you seem cool. Homeless people are better though, because. No! Homeless people are interesting in a way that nobody else is. Like, I, I was walking around the other day, I overheard this guy whispering, You're not crippled. You, you don't need that wheelchair. To a baby in a stroller. <laughs> yeah. That man was a gem. <laughs> I just wanted to follow that guy around the rest of the day and like steal his real life crazy ass observations for my act, you know? So I'd just come up here and be like, hey, you guys ever notice that pine cones are basically just artichoke fossils? <laughs> sure that guy was messed up, but I mean, like I get, I get that he was messed up. He was wearing like baggy jean shorts that went down to his shins, you know. So I, I figured he probably lost his mind at a Limp Bizkit concert. <laughs> but we're all messed up somehow from something. Everything messes people up, even holidays. You know, holidays are basically just exceptions to rules that there shouldn't be exceptions to. That'll mess you up. Like Halloween, for instance, that's an easy one. Every other day of the year, we're like, don't accept candy from strangers. Oh, except for that one day when all the strangers were wearing disguises. They go nuts! <laughs> don't try to make women kiss you if they don't want to. Except for Christmas, under the mistletoe. It's the international waters of sexual harassment. <laughs> don't eat stuff you find in the backyard. Easter. Don't let your dad kidnap you and start a new life in Nevada. My birthday, once. <laughs> Everybody's messed up. I'm messed up here, even me. You know, I can't take things seriously. You know, I'll have these job interviews and they'll ask me real questions. Like an interviewer asked me, where do you see yourself in 10 years? And I, I know she can't see the future. So I say pretty much just anything to that. I'll just be like, dancing on your grave. <laughs> and I don't get the joke. An interviewer once asked me, uh, if you could have lunch with anybody, living or dead, who would you pick? And I was like, living. <laughs> I think I'm overqualified for this position. <laughs> Not taking things too seriously, it's not the worst way to be messed up though. It does help you, you know, be more positive in life, you know, see the light, the, the better side of things. Like, just the other day, I caught a babe checking me out, you know? And I could have taken that in a negative way and assumed that she was looking at that car accident I was in. <laughs> but I think I'm happier this way. My back hurts, but <laughs> I think I'm good. <laughs> That's enough comedy. I'm gonna do something extra special for you guys now. I'm gonna read somebody's mind in this audience. All right, I know that's hard to believe, but I'm gonna do it. And all I need is a volunteer. Somebody who's willing to let me read their mind. And it looks like I already have one. You raised your hand. Cool, thank you so much. Stay, don't, don't get up. No, you, just relax. Uh, first of all, what's your name? Sarah, I know. Sarah, I'm gonna read your mind, and there's one catch. And that's that it takes me two guesses. Not bad, 50% accuracy. Now what I need you to do is focus on the thing that you want me to read. All right, you have it? Okay, first guess. You're thinking about your parents having sex. No, okay, guess number two. Now you're thinking about your parents having sex. 